Hello everyone, here is Anas again from Sudo Zain channel. Today I wanted to discuss the tasks in the firewall room, which is related to port tunneling and port forwarding. These tasks are this task number six and task number seven. First, I want to start with a port hopping and how we can evade a firewall using this technique. So let's assume that we have a server here in a local network and this network is protected by a firewall which block ports from and to this local network. So the port hopping is a technique which involves hops from one port to another till find an open port and establish a connection with the second point. In this task number six, we have to discover which port number of the following destination TCP ports number are reachable from the protected system to the outside. So I will try each port starting from 27 till 21 to check which port is not protected by a firewall. So on the Kali machine, I would run a listener on the port numbers following from 27 to 21 and let the server connect to the Kali through this port. So on the server, I will run this command netcat, the Kali IP address and the port number. So based on this scheme, I will run a netcat listener on the Kali Linux, netcat minus LVNP on the port 27, And on the server, I will run the following command to connect to that port on Kali. 10, 9, 1, 1 and 5 on the port 27. Submit form. Okay, the command is submitted. Let's check our Kali. We didn't receive any connection. So this port is blocked. Okay, so now let's run a listener on the port 26. And the connection to 26. So as before, we didn't receive any connection. So this port, we can consider that is a blocked. So 25 and connect to the Kali machine on the port 25 and also we didn't receive any connection. Now we will start with 21 so and yeah we have a connection from the remote server to our Kali machine on the port 21. So this port is open. Also, we can get a reversal to the server by adding the option minus C with a bin bash. This option redirects any input and output from the network to the shell and from the shell to the network. So for our previous command, we will add this, this part on the server. So again, I will run the port 21. Netcat. And now I will connect to my Kali machine on the port 27, on the port 21 with the option minus C and bin bash. Submit form. And yeah, we get the connection to the remote server. And let's try, who am I? And now we are on the shell. Yeah, and now we get a shell to that server. In the next task, we have a port tunneling, which is also known as a port forwarding. This technique forwards the packets sent to one destination port to another destination port. On this our running server, there is a web server which is running on the port 80. So by default, we have to get access to this web server from our web browser on the Kali Linux. 
but as we see we don't have access to this page so the problem is because the server is behind the firewall which block any traffic on port 80 from outside to get access to the web server we have two methods the first method we can use our knowledge from the previous task which involves to let the server make a reverse connection to the attacker machine through that port 21 and then redirect this connection to port 80 so on the kernel linux also we will run a listener on the port 21 and we'll issue this command to connect to the Kali linux and then redirect our connection to the port 80 with the ip address 127.0001 because the web server is running on the same server so on the Kali linux we will run a listener on the port 21 and from the remote server we will run a connection to our Kali Linux on the port 21 with minus C netcat to our local host on the port 80 okay so the connection is successful after the connection was successful with the remote server now we want to communicate with that web server by entering this command so the first command is to get a default web page which is i think index.html on that server we have to enter the name host which is will be the default one and then hit enter twice http one one host default so we get a web page which has our flag okay so this is the first method the second method is to use the information from the content of the task which tell us that the tcp port 808 is not blocked from outside so we can connect to the server through this port and after that we will forward our traffic to the port 80. so on the server we will run a listener on the port 8008 and then redirect our traffic to the local host on the port 80 and from the Kali we will issue a command to connect to the remote server through the port number 8008 and then we will run these commands as before to communicate with the HTTP server so first of all I will run a listener on the port Eighty zero eight, and I will redirect the connection to the local host on the port 80 and I will connect to that server on the port 8008 okay the connection is open now I will send a GET request host default and yeah we get a web page as before and the flag is try hack me and thank you for watching and see you in the next video